Hi, uh, welcome to the Madrid School of Osteopathy. My name is Guy. Today I would like to speak about treatment in a shoulder problem that can be pain or lack of mobility, but one of its causes is the liver. One of the interesting ways that the liver can influence the shoulder is through innervation. Because from the area in the cervical spine that innervates the shoulder emerge a very important nerve. It's called the phrenic nerve. The phrenic nerve innervates mainly the diaphragm. The diaphragm covers the liver and connects it with important ligaments. But as well, the phrenic nerve innervates a capsule, a fascial capsule that covers the liver itself. It's called the glissons capsule. Because of that, any kind of dysfunction in the liver or the diaphragm can create a facilitation area in the cervical spine that can create a dysfunction in the shoulder. As in osteopathy, a diagnosis is the most important. So that's why we're going to do many tests. One of the tests we're going to do is called a lift test. We're going to ask the patient to do the movement that generated the pain or its lack of mo mobility. For example, it can be a forward bend. And I can ask the patient to do like a movement for the. Uh, yeah, and you can do it. And then I can do the movement again by doing inhibition of, for the liver. Do the movement again. If there was a reduction in the pain or is better mobility, better range of motion, I can suspect that one of the causes for the shoulder pain was the liver. As treatment, we're always going to start by treating the diaphragm. As any other muscle in the body, we're going to start by, with its innervation. For that, we're going to treat first, as I said, the phrenic nerve. Can you lie on the back, please? Can I have to start with this? For that, I'm going to check the first cervical, uh, the cervical spine, C3, C4, C5, where the nerve emerged toward the diaphragm. And if I find a, a dysfunctional hypermobility, I can correct it. After the innervation, I'm going to treat its insertion. Can you sit, please, as a, like you're on your horse? One of the most in, a bit more to the back, for muscle class. Mass, mass, mass. One of the most important insertion is in the thoracolumbar spine. For that, I can do a technique of lift off. as a prayer technique. I can ask the patient to put his hands behind his hand. Flex hand. After treating the insertion, I'm going to treat the, I can treat the muscle itself. I can do a stretching technique. Can you flex a little bit more then? And I'm going to use the breath of the patient. So I can use inhale to my leg, and extend your back, and exhale. To my leg, and exhale. Can continue with inhibition for the phrenic center as well. Stairs, patients profundas. Do deep breath. I'm going to use the breath of the patient. To so inhibition for the phrenic center for the central tendon. I'm going to continue by treating the, the liver. 
as well I'm going to start with its innervation. The innervation for the liver comes from, comes out, uh, is the vagus nerve. And example, the parasympathetic innervation of the liver is the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve goes out from the jugular foramen. It's an opening in the cranium that, uh, between the occipital and the temporal bone. For that, I can check first the ce first cervical spine for any dysfunction as you connect technique. I can treat as well the path of the nerve towards, uh, for the sympathetic innervation, I'm gonna do a technique of dog technique. I'm gonna check the vertebras T7, T8, T9, where the sympathetic innervation emerge. Okay, Stellaros PMS. Before doing a direct technique to the liver, we have to treat two important structures. One is the duodenum, is the first portion of the intestines, and the second one is the sphincter odi, is where the bile duct emerges toward the second portion of the duodenum. It's to prevent congestion and to give good drainage for the bile. But I can use the legs as a level. I'm gonna I'll give some mobility and stretching and relaxation for the sphincter odi and open the angles of the duodenum. Okay. I can go for this costoso less less here. For direct techniques for the liver, I can do mobilization techniques. For example, I can do rotational technique, anterior posterior. I can use this technique as diagnosis as well and to give a good mobility and elasticity for the soft tissue that covers or runs the liver. I can stay and emphasize on the movement that are more rigid or less elastic. Leg again on your back. I cast it soon as well. I can do a pumping technique, or like hailing pumping technique. Can use as well the breath of the patient, Toma Haire. Salam. Toma more, more, more. Salam. Toma Haire. Salam. Inhale, more, more, more. And I'm going to end the treatment with the functional equilibration of the liver itself. <laughs>